Joining us right now to talk more about it is John Payton. He's the CEO of Dan Dine Brands, the parent company of both Applebee's and IHOP. And uh, welcome, John. It's great to see you. Um, you're new to this job since the beginning of this year, and this is your first interview on CNBC, so we want to welcome you. But uh, watching what's happening here, this is uh, really pretty indicative of what we see happening around the country as people really start to get back out there with the vaccinations. What are you seeing in your stores right now? Uh, good morning, Becky. Thanks for welcoming me. It is my first time, and what a, what a great time for me to join Dine Brands and the restaurant industry. I started in January, and Dine had a really strong quarter, as you just mentioned, with terrific momentum from Q4 that has rolled right into Q1. And what we're talking about here at Dine is we've coined the phrase that we're now entering a restaurant renaissance in the U.S. And, and by that, we mean our guests, you know, you and I and everyone who's listening who've been cooped up in our homes for the last 13 months are so excited to leave our homes and to um, rediscover restaurants. And that's what's happening. And that's what we saw in the first quarter. The other thing I love about this, this idea of a restaurant renaissance is that we've spent the last year here at Applebee's and at IHOP rediscovering ourselves and reinventing restaurants to meet the new consumer behaviors that are out there. And so we've gotten better at off-premise, we've invented uh, new great menu items, and we're welcoming our guests back in a, in a very fresh and, and current way. How much of your business right now is, is people who are actually dining in the restaurants? How much of it is people who are still ordering takeout? We have two thirds of our businesses in both brands is uh, in the restaurant and about one third is to go. And of that to go business, half is uh, takeout where you or I come and pick it up. And the other half is is delivery. Delivery from your own sources or is this starting to use some of those um, services that that will come and pick it up for you? It's it's mostly the the, the third party delivery services. And what's so um, terrific about that is the off premise business for for both of our brands is a is a new business for us that really emerged from from COVID. So pre uh, pre pandemic, both IHOP and Applebee's had about 10 percent or less of their business off premise. And mm. since the pandemic began running right up through March, we were about a third off premise. And what's even more important than the, 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 than the third, Becky, is the fact that the, the absolute dollar value of that off premise business is holding super steady and it has through March. So as as Americans are returning to dining inside of restaurants, this off-premise business that, that our franchisees have built um, is here to stay. It's, it's incremental and mm -hmm. it's profitable. And so you know, we're really leaning into the technology and the marketing and the operations to support this new line of business. John, we've been following inflation pretty closely and obviously a lot of inputs. We've seen prices go up on commodities, food items. What has that meant for you? And have you been able to pass those prices on to your customers or do your margins get hurt? So I, I guess the good news, Becky, is that uh, commodity prices are rising a bit because the supply chain is lagging the demand, meaning that our guests are returning to our restaurants faster than our supply chain can keep up. And so in our menu, it's things like, like pork products and chicken and paper products for to-go packaging that are driving prices up about, about 1% to 2%. When, when it comes to pricing, it's important to note that we're 98% we're franchised in, in both brands. And so pricing is really a decision that's made um, locally by each and every one of our 300 franchisees. And it's very dependent upon the conditions in their local market. What are the conditions telling you from those franchisees in terms of the, your ability to hire people, especially for, you know, people who used to get more tips and maybe aren't getting as many when there's not as many in-house in, in, in diners? So, so first of all, we, we've been hiring for the last several weeks and months, um, and hiring is a challenge right now. One, one of the benefits we have is that Applebee's and IHOP are a fun place to work. They have a great culture. Uh, they're often, you know, the focal point of their, of their neighborhood. Um, but that said, our restaurants are challenged. And between the two brands, we have about 20,000 team members that we need to hire to meet the demand that we're seeing in Q1 and that we expect to roll into Q2. We're having national recruiting days for both brands the week after next. Um, big social media campaigns, a lot of clever things we'll be doing to generate candidates that we can um, identify for, for our franchisees. And um, they've got a lot of hiring to do. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.